Hey, it's Gadget Guy Attic, and today I've got the new Google Home, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing and show you what this thing can do. And uh, for right now, we'll look at just how the Google Home works, and take it from there. We'll compare this with the Alexa and um, the Dot, so Amazon Echo and the Dot, um, both in comparison to these. So stick with me, and we'll get right back with how we're going to do this thing. All right, so quick unboxing here. So they, they actually put some pull tabs on here so that you can get this open without breaking out the knife. That's kind of nice. Put this on both sides. So packaging wise, this looks nice. We'll set this stuff off to the side. And this has a typical far field uh, voice recognition to support hands free. You've got uh, 2.4 and five gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, Chromecast built in multi-room playback to sync music across speakers that have Chromecast built in, simple setup with the Google Home app on iOS or Android, and high extrusion speaker delivers clear highs, rich bass for hi-fi sound. All right, and uh, it appears that this covers YouTube Music, Pandora, Google Play Music, TuneIn, Google Chromecast, Nest, Hue, and SmartThings. And that's the other thing is we'll take the, a look at how this operates with SmartThings. All right, so boxing aside, so what we've got here is a nice little lift and looking at the package, very nice. All right, so you got that here. So we've got, uh, it's not too heavy, so that's nice. All right, in here, uh, it's really nice packaging actually. They did nice. All right, so here's our get started and our plug in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these things off to the side because we really don't need to mess with them anymore. got to uh, get started so plug in the power power cord goes here and we're gonna go ahead and do that just so happens I have a plug-in ready all right just start with OK Google it says Designer, you can get a few extra things. For the base, you can change out the colors. All right. It says download and run Google Home app on a phone or a tablet. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. And uh, we'll get back to that. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. All right, so it says, uh, it told me what to do along with the directions, so I guess we can kind of throw those things out. And let's go into our apps here. I'm going to use a tablet today. And we're going to go into the Play Store. And we're going to get Google Home. So that's not what we want. We don't want Launcher. We want App. All right, so what you're looking for is this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and install that. All right, so installing. It's a little bit older tablet, so all right, it says open. So welcome to the Google Home app. First, we got to accept the term, so we'll go ahead and go through and do that. And it is looking for devices. So right now we are looking for devices, and it found one. All right, there are just a few steps to set up, personalize your Google Home, so continue. It is connecting to my Google Home right now. And it looks like it uh, is receiving that information. It says your mobile device will switch to a temporary Wi-Fi hotspot on the Google Home. Successfully connected to your Google Home. There we go. Next, your Google Home will play a test sound. So uh, it says in here, 
and if he just shows up, I click this and I'll play a test sound next. So, and I believe I heard that. All right, what room is your home in? You know what? For now, we're going to call this the office. And I believe that is so that you, if you use it in multiple rooms, you know, it knows which one it's talking to and where to go. All right, so it's selected. Uh, all right, it says that the connection I have is not very good, but we're going to go with it anyway. And it's asking me to put in my password for the Wi-Fi. All right. And it is... That is representation on here, on my tablet. So I'm seeing what it's doing. Both are connected very quickly. All right, setting up my Google Home at this point. So multiple colors. It's doing a few things, getting me set up. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for this. And when it tells me, all right, it's connected to Google Home Network. It's a little, little extra there. This appears to take a few minutes. Oh, that looks like a good sign. And it says poor quality. Yeah, all right. Um, couldn't connect to my thing. Oh, you know what? Made a mistake. I put in the wrong password. Now I should be able to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Okay. That sounds like the... All right, so it's switching. Now it's connected. The tablet is connected to the Google Home. And it is setting up my Wi-Fi network. I don't know if you can see that there. All right, and it says poor signal. All right, I'm gonna make this thing happy and I'm gonna to switch to a different. Different Wi-Fi. So it just gave me an answer that says that wasn't a good idea because it would be two different networks want to be on the 5 gigahertz, want to be on the 2.4. I tend to like to put these things on the 5 gigahertz just out of request for speed and accuracy. All right, so we're going to try it again. Connection doesn't look that bad, but this may be having a problem and I'm not seeing how well this is connecting. Alright, it says it's setting up my Google Home. And the functions is working, it seems, so we'll go from there. Now this is supposed to be touch sensitive. I'm not going to touch it right now because I don't want to mess anything up while it's setting up, but this will be touch sensitive. Alright, so that stopped making lights on that end. I've got uh, a little orange light on the back here where the G is. Um, I believe that is so that I know that there's power on this. That's another good sign. We got multiple colors going on. Okay. Ah. I think we can assume that that means it's set up. But we're waiting. Because on my tablet, it still says it's setting up. The problem I see here is that it is um, telling me that there are Wi-Fi networks open and that this is not technically connected, so. This appears to be done. Okay, now it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network. All right, so we'll find out if we finish this or not. It's connected to the Wi-Fi on the tablet.
and I'm sorry if this is taking a little long, but I'm giving you the true, I just opened the box, we're trying to get this thing done. I'm not going to edit this a whole heck of a lot. Maybe I'll speed up a couple areas where we were waiting forever just to save a little bit of time. But I can tell you, I want to see how it works, and I'm thinking you might too. Um, today is the 4th when it was released, so uh, the time of this video is literally the first day that this was available to the masses. And uh, I, I was one of the masses, so I got this thing, and now we're playing with it. All right. Not overly thrilled with the fact that the app is still working. So I'm going to try this by saying, OK, Google, what can I say? Please log in through the Google Home app. All right. So I'm just going to hit the home screen. Let's try the Google Home app. All right, so it brings it back up. All right, we're going to try this one more time. That seems to be working, but I find it interesting. It is currently not connected to any network. Now it's connecting back to my network. Now, I don't know that I could fault the app or Google Home on this um, because I'm using a much older Samsung device. Um, this is the Note 8, and so it may just not be working very good. Because um, it keeps telling me my Wi-Fi network is not uh, very good, yet I'm looking at 75% or better um, connection speeds so or bars of service. Okay, Google, are you ready to use? Please log in through the Google Home app. Seems to have one answer. All right, I'm really not getting anywhere with this. So we're going to try it again. It's so looking for the device. So I'm going to start all over just because I don't know if it was hung up, not transmitting what the deal was. So sign in to Google Home app for a better experience. So I get to sign in now. And all right, stay up to date. Yeah, sure. Well, let's find out when we get things that are of interest here. Manage your devices. Let's try again later. Come back soon for more discoveries. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Okay, Office Home needs setup, so we're going to sign in. And it's saying things like, meet Google Assistant. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And continue as me. All right, so it asks for permissions. Pretty much either answer yes or this thing isn't going to work. And do I want to allow for personal results? Sounds good to me. Location settings, why not? And actually, I'm going to just put in my address. Since I'm uh, on a tablet, um, I just wanted to know where I'm at specifically. All right, so now you can link your music services and then select a default. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, Google Play is on here. I'm gonna just leave it on that and hit continue. And it says setup is complete. So we have our complete setup. We're gonna hit continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. All right. So it's asking me to continue, and if you look right here, it is saying uh, continue. So, okay, Google, how far away is the moon? The moon is two hundred thirty-eight thousand nine hundred miles from Earth. 
because everybody needs to know this right now. All right, so now it says, try saying, okay, Google, tell me about my day. Good day, John. The time is 4.43 p.m. The weather in Richmond currently is 63 degrees and partly cloudy with a high of 64 degrees. Okay, Google, stop. One. Here's the latest news. So I was able to interrupt it, so that's good. All right, now it says, try saying, uh, we're going to play some music here. So, okay, Google, play some music. Playing some music on Google Play Music. Hmm. Not bad. So I'm in a room that's about 17 by 12. Um, not bad. Okay, Google, turn it down. Okay, Google, stop music. Not bad. It's doing pretty good at listening. Um, not obviously not trying to blare it, and we'll look. We'll listen to the sound quality when compare that to other items here later on. So, all right. So the last one it says to try is um, if I need help. Okay, Google, what can I do? Here are a couple of suggestions. You can say what's my next meeting, or listen to Fresh Air. To find out more, you can look at the full list of suggestions in the Google Home app. All right, so I'm seeing things like change volume, get weather, um, tap the top of the device to interrupt, meet your assistant, play music. So everything starts with OK Google, play music. All right, here's some music on Google Play Music. And then I just touch the top and it stops, and I touch it again and it works. This is great. Also, this is touch sensitive up here, so I'm going to go ahead and touch it and bring the volume up. When I get chills at night, I feel bring the volume down. I like that. I think that's much easier to use than some other devices. All right, so there you have it. That is the uh, unboxing of the Google Home and a quick tutorial on walking through it, um, which was provided by Google. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this so you all can check it out. And... Uh, and then what I'll be doing is, is look for my next video that uh, where I'm going to compare this one with um, just using it and kind of getting familiar with it. So I'm going to play with it a little bit instead of wasting your time and show you some of the things that it can do. Um, and then I'm going to compare this to the Amazon um, devices, which this is competing directly with. And don't touch it while you're trying to show things. But uh, stay tuned. Watch for this video coming up uh, where I compare this to the Amazon devices and um, then we'll do a sound check between the different devices along with I'll show you some of the more things that you can do with this uh, Google Home um, device and see if it's actually going to be useful. Me personally, I think this is going to be very useful compared to the other devices, but I'm, I'm curious to see if it's going to work or not. It's, it's questionable, but um, just from the voice recognition, I'm enjoying using this a little bit more than the other one. The only problem that I, I'm not really keen on is, is you got to use two words, okay, and Google and it recognized that never mind so from there thanks for watching this is Gadget Guy Attic uh, do me a favor and leave some comments down below and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and of course share it if uh, you want others to see the same thing thanks a lot